morning. Our scripture reading this morning is Romans 5, 1 through 11. I just want to add to uh, what Jim Duke had to say, you know, I mean, it's, it's appalling that that kind of thing's happening in our country. But if each one of us, you know, in our prayers, we pray for our family members to be safe, and, and we pray for things in our own lives that we need, and we ask for forgiveness of our sins. But, you know, I, I in my prayers, and I hope that each of you do, that you pray that all mankind comes to know Jesus Christ, Amen. and ask for forgiveness, and uh, find the way to the Lord. Amen. So, Romans 5. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into, and into this grace in which we now stand. And we rejoice in which we now stand, and we rejoice in hope of the story of God, not only so that we also rejoice in our sufferings, because we know that sufferings produce perseverance, perseverance character, character hope, and hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom he has given us. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for the righteous man, though for a good man someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if when we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Amen.